While Canon DSLRs have a lot of great features, you may be missing out on some of the best features your camera has to offer. Today I'll show you how to install Magic Lantern, a custom firmware that allows you to unlock these additional features. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your camera's battery is fully charged. If your camera's battery dies during the installation process, you could end up with a bricked camera. Next, you're going to want to check your camera's firmware version. You can do this by turning your camera to the manual mode, turning it on, pressing menu, and scrolling over a few icons, and then you will find the firmware version in the list. Now, head on over to the Magic Lantern website and check this version for compatibility with the latest Magic Lantern firmware. If you need to update, you can go to Canon's website and download firmware updates. Next, you're going to want to download the Magic Lantern firmware. Make sure you download one that is compatible with your camera. You may want to download an older version for stability reasons, and that's what I'll be doing for the purposes of this video. Next, you're going to need to extract this folder. Where you put it is up to you, but I recommend doing it on your desktop first before transferring it to your card so they can read the directions before proceeding to the next step. Now that you've read the directions, you can copy these files over to your SD card. The Magic Lantern website recommends that you use an SD card reader to copy them and not do it through your camera. Now that you've copied the files over to your SD card, you can pop the SD card out of your computer and then stick it into your camera. Now you'll switch your camera to the manual mode, turn it on, and press menu. Now you'll scroll over to the firmware page that we visited earlier. Now, select the option that says your firmware version, and you'll see an option that allows you to click OK to install the new firmware. Now, the firmware installation process should begin. It should take a short amount of time, but if it takes longer than you expect, don't take the battery out or press any buttons. Once your camera says the firmware installation is complete, you can turn it off and then turn it back on. Now you should be running Magic Lantern. To access some additional options, press the trash can button. To access even more options, press the menu button. And that's about it. If you don't like Magic Lantern, you can always go back. Hit your menu button and scroll over to the format option. Once you click on the format option, you'll be able to click your live view button to toggle between erasing Magic Lantern and keeping it when you format your card. If you press the button to delete it, a message will show up like this, and when you press format, Magic Lantern will be gone. Now you can restart your camera and you will no longer have Magic Lantern installed. So that's just about it. It's pretty simple, but you need to be careful not to brick your camera. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.